Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Subodh, and today we are going to see about how to run PMD in our Apex um, VS Code. So let's begin. So before that, we need to set the org for our VS Code and extract all the Apex classes here. And now go to extension, search for Apex PMD. You have to install this. I did the installation already. Once you have installed, then you will get like an extension Apex PMD in the output terminal. I'm getting here. Then we are good from the export side. Now let's go to Google and search for PMD. It will take us to pmd.github.io select the operating system mine is windows so these are the steps you need to follow so there is a zip file that i have to install so i downloaded this zip file and did the extract as well i stored it here this is the file once you have downloaded it and unzip the file then you need to set the environment variable to access the path from command prompt let's go to the bin folder and copy the path create a new environment variable now search for environment variable click on environment variable select path click on edit create a new environment variable click on ok ok now let's search for pmd we are getting pmd but make sure that if you have uh, java version 8 or ever and the environment variable is set or no to access that so i have java version more than 8 Go to program files in Java, it is like 16.0.2. I need to go to bin folder, I need to copy it. Select environment variable, create a new environment variable path, click on edit, click on OK. We are set. Now let's go to VS Code and here we will run our Apex class. Now click Ctrl Shift P. So basically, you are going to see like there is uh, Apex static analysis on workspace or on file. I need to select on workspace because I need to run all the Apex class. So let's do that. It is going to run for us and 135 problem it is showing us. So I can see the violations and I can fix the error. But I need some kind of download file that I can analyze later or something like that. Then we have to do that through command prompt. So there is a command that we have to run in order to get a download file. So I can show you here. I'll explain you. So basically this is the directory where we are going to run the Apex class and this path is uh, the path that we are, uh, we are storing our project. Let's see. I have stored my project here. Then I need to go to force app main default classes. So this is the path basically that I used. So PMD is going to fetch all these Apex class that are present here. So this is basically saying and the format is CSV. I can uh, get the format in HTML as well from CSV. So I, I need a format in CSV format. So I use that and basically rule is rule set. 
this is the standard rule set I am using for FX and you can create your own rule set or customize and you can uh, put the path here and the report file will be where to store the file that is going to be generated and the path the path and the format so I use that I'm going to store my uh, file here and this is the format okay let's run it PMD will run for us and locate a file. Let's see the folder that we have provided. Yeah, I got this in the CSV format. You can analyze the issues here and see what are the different violations. This is the extract we're getting after running the command hope, hope this session will be like really helpful to you guys and if you have some kind of doubts you can comment i'll try to answer it thanks for your participation and hope it will solve your issue you can use uh, any of the static code analyzer but pmd is globally so that's why i thought like this will be helpful Thank you guys.